Good evening, I'm Colonel Jaff McMillan, the third wing commander. Thanks for coming out tonight. It's important to keep the, uh, the local community informed uh, during this trying time for the third wing. As you know, we lost an F-22 on Tuesday night and evidence at the crash site has led us to conclude that Captain Jeff Haney did not eject from the F-22 that he was flying and that he indeed died in the crash. We have not found the body yet or discovered any remains, so let me kind of talk for a moment about what we do have. At the crash site, we found part of the ejection seat, which if a pilot was able to eject, the seat would go with him and it would not be anywhere at or near the site. We also found some of the personal items, i.e. his anti-G suit, which he's wearing, part of his flight suit, just personal gear that has led us to determine that uh, Captain Haney did indeed perish with the aircraft. Obviously, this is a huge loss for the third wing and for the Air Force, but it's even a greater loss and it's a very emotional time for the entire Haney family. We're doing everything we can to support them right now, and we would ask that you would respect their privacy during this trying time. As we move forward, we're really looking now at a recovery operation. Over the last day and a half to two days, not only the Air Force, but the National Guard, Alaska National Guard, the U.S. Army Forces in Alaska, the Department of Transportation, and state police have been crucial to get equipment and people at or near the crash site so that we can begin recovering the airplane, find the body, and now begin a, an official investigation. We have about 130 folks up there right now. It's a very austere location where we're having to set up tents uh, and food, uh, and it's very cold, and the nighttime's getting down to minus 20. Uh, but we're getting the folks up there. We have an interim safety team in place that are, that are collecting and, and securing uh, evidence for this crash. We have a full-time safety investigation board. The president will be here tomorrow, and the, he, they will soon go up to the uh, to the site and begin the, the process of determining the cause of this accident. It's basically in a kind of a wet area. It's in a valley between a ridge and it, it looks like, well, it, it's basically a, a, about an 18 to 20 foot round hole and it's got uh, water. So there's, a, I don't know how much water is in it now. It's starting to freeze over. Uh, there are some parts of the airplane that are outside that, but really it, it, the majority of the airplane is, is now gone beneath the, uh, the earth. So it's gonna require uh, some effort to get the airplane out. I'll, I'll, take, I'll accept that. The weather was beautiful. It was a, uh, a clear night, about 77 to 80% moon illumination, which means you could see the ground, you could see mountains, you could see the terrain. So uh, it, it, was a great, it was a great night to, uh, to fly airplanes. I would like to close with one last thing. I'd like to thank the local community for the, for the outpouring of, of phone calls and things they've been doing to try to support this. As always, our, our Anchorage community does a great job of supporting uh, the Third Wing and Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. So thanks for being out here, and thanks for passing the news. Have a great night. Thank you.